This is Jason Russell with your Eastern District Fishing Report. U.S. Army Corps lakes across the district are seeing stable water levels holding at Summer Pool. Water conditions remain clear with good visibility at all locations. With warmer daytime temperatures, bass fishing opportunities are best in the early mornings and late afternoon on into night. Top water action is still very good right now and will continue for some time. Also crankbaits, soft plastic worms, and jigs are all producing results. Some pockets of vegetation including curly leaf and floating pond weeds are now developing. Working artificial frogs and other weedless surface baits through these areas can be especially productive. Try fishing for largemouth bass at Dewey, Carr Creek, Yatesville, and Fish Trap Lakes. We're getting good reports of increased crappie fishing success using deeper water summer pattern tactics. Crappie are being caught at Dewey Lake, especially in the lower lake portions in 8 to 12 feet of water. Crappie jigs work slowly in and around brush piles and lay downs in deeper water. Black and white crappie are being caught. Most fish are ranging between 8.5 to 10 inches. The larger black crappie have been around 12.5 inches and the largest whites around 14 inches. At Buckhorn and Fish Trap Lakes, the tried and true summer method of trolling is still quite effective. Try running deep diving crankbaits in baby crappie or shad patterns down to around 12 feet. Catfish angling has also began to pick up now that catfish are off the nest. While most district lakes offer channel and flathead catfish opportunities, Dewey, Fish Trap, and Car Creek lakes have blue catfish and jug angling is quite effective. Also, blue catfish have been stocked in Yatesville Lake since 2021 and is beginning to offer some additional angling opportunity for the 2024 season. This year, we have an angler creel survey being conducted on Yatesville Lake. A creel clerk will be interviewing anglers to help determine vital catch and harvest statistics. They will also be collecting angler attitude and opinion information on this survey. These surveys are only collected once every five to six years on each district lake. This provides anglers a great opportunity to share their fishing results and success. If you encounter the clerk on the water, we encourage you to participate in the survey and provide feedback on how the fishery is performing from an angler perspective. This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. Water temperatures at our area lakes are running in the lower to mid 80s. Uh, there's a great opportunity to get out and catch some fish right now, especially uh, some largemouth bass. Uh, some lakes that are good for that would be Bullock Pen, Kincaid Lake, Gist Creek, Taylorsville, and Harrington Lakes. Um, it's a great time of year to throw crate baits or swim baits uh, for these fish. Soft plastics are also productive when fished around shoreline cover, uh, such as a fallen tree or any aquatic vegetation. Uh, this is a great time of year to fish uh, during nighttime hours uh, to catching some largemouth bass at area lakes. Uh, they can be caught on, again, a variety of lures such as spinner baits, soft plastics, jig and pig combinations, especially when fished around shoreline cover. A few crappie are still being caught at Taylorsville Lake and Beaver Lakes. Uh, crappie can be caught on crappie minnows or crappie jigs. You'll want to fish in about six to ten feet of water concentrating your efforts uh, and the tops of uh, trees that are offshore or all are large fallen trees along the shore that are adjacent to a river or a creek channel blue catfish and channel catfish are being caught at taylorsville lake uh, as well as the ohio river uh, catfish can be caught on cut shad uh, fished around the creek or river channel edges in about 6 to 15 feet of water. There's great, a great opportunity for some good catches of uh, panfish at several of our department-owned lakes such as Beaver, Corinth, Elmer, or McNeely Lakes. Uh, Bluegill and Shellcracker being caught on. A variety of lures such as crickets, millworms, or redworms. Uh, you need to concentrate your efforts in and around pockets in the vegetation or along the edges of the aquatic vegetation. And finally, it's a great time of year to get out and fish a few of the, your local streams, such as Elkhorn Creek, uh, South Fork Licking, uh, Floyd's Fork uh, for smallmouth bass and rock bass. Small crankbaits 
where jerk baits are very productive uh, on these streams, uh, as well as small jigs uh, that may mimic a crayfish can also be very productive. Remember always to ask permission before entering any private property. So grab a pole, enjoy some great summertime fishing, and I hope to see you on the water.